Hi guys. So, um, today I've just been really um, looking back at some of the things that are going on and just how we all just really, I think all of us struggle with fear and worry and, and especially in these days and times and um, where there's just so much going on and you just don't know who to believe, where to go, um, what what's to follow, what's to listen to, you know. So today I just, sitting down, I was looking in my Bible and, you know, over and over and over again, book after book in the Bible says, do not worry. Cause, you know, and I love the focus here in Matthew 6, 25 says, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life. What you will eat or drink or what your body what you will wear is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not much more valuable than they who of you by wearing can add a single hour to his life we look at this verse and you know these verses and it's just um it blows my mind that that was um matthew 6 25 through 27 and we tend to worry so much we as humans we forget that god is the ultimate provider and we rely so much upon on ourselves and um you know in christ's time this past year i don't know if you know we all remember how everybody went crazy and went took the toilet paper off the shelves it was you couldn't get toilet paper for months it was ridiculous um and people were just really hoarding things and um because of worry because of not having that assurance that god tells us over and over this is not this is only one part in the bible this is it's over it repeated over and over in so many other books um in isaiah in um joshua in job in in um Mark, Luke, John, and there's so many different areas, um, even in um, in Acts. I mean, worry is repeated over and over again about not worrying and to have faith. It sounds um, so simple. I know when I just oh have faith, you know, but I know it's hard, and we all struggle with it. But to put our faith totally in God, because He is the creator the ultimate of this universe if you think about this universe and how astronomically huge and how small we are and he's in totally control of this what who are we to say that we have this under control and by harboring food harboring clothing toilet paper it's going to give us a single day of non worry it's not going to do that it's just going to be another thing that we're going to worry about there's always going to be something but if we put our faith in our lord who sent his son jesus to die on that cross for us so that we may have eternal life we put our faith in the ultimate being ultimate god only god then our worry can slowly diminish so when you feel that fear, when you feel that worry coming on, just just remember these words. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. God's got it. He's got it. We need to remind each other of that. We need to bind together community. No matter what you believe out there, so many, you know, um, people have turned away from God because of situations in their life but you have to remember this we need to bond together in times of crisis in times of pain and to cling on to each other and God and know that he's got this he has the ultimate plan so I struggle I struggle with worry. I, I, that's why I'm digging. I'm digging deep into the word. And I, when I feel that worry, come on, I'm like, okay, no. God's got this. He is good. 
He's got this. Look how far he's gotten me. I, every day, feel what a miracle this is. What a beautiful life. And um, we need to all remember and to live it out. And share it. Share it with everyone. Share it with everyone you meet. God is good. He took care of that, that issue. You know, he's going to take care of the next issue. We just got to let him work. So I, I want to just instill this in your head, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. Do not worry. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, drink, or what your body will wear. Do not worry. We are so amazing in God's eyes. He finds delight in us. You understand? He made us in his image. And he finds delight in us. He loves to see us laugh. He loves to see us enjoy. So praise him in that. You know? Thank him every day. And remember, he's got this. I love you all. Have a beautiful day.